you just never know how kids are gonna act in the morning. They can wake up really cheery and then have a tantrum two minutes later for like no reason. <laughs> so mornings are just kind of always up in the air. If you'd like to see how I go from this to this, then click on the video I'll leave down below. Okay, so this is my morning routine for when I'm working during the school year. Uh, when I first wake up, I get Megan a bottle, and then I just let her just drink her bottle while I'm either putting my makeup on or helping her big brother, who's uh, three and a half, get dressed and ready. So even though my oldest he doesn't drink his milk until just a little bit later. I just get it all ready to go and I leave it on the counter. And then I take her formula to her. It was too big for my chart chart. It was too big for my chart chart. Show me your chart chart. Look. Oh, there's your stickers. Oh, that one. You want that one in your chore chart? Should we do that one this morning? Look, it's too big. It is too big, huh? We could pick out a smaller smiley face. Okay, let's do your chores this morning. As you can see, he's just really excited about his chore chart. So one of the first things he does in the morning is he goes to his closet and he picks out an outfit from the bin. And these are outfits I've already put together for him. And then he goes to his drawer and he picks out a clean pair of underwear and socks. And he loves getting to choose. And he loves kind of that freedom of picking out which clothes from which bin and which underwear and socks he wants to wear. And uh, usually daddy is helping get him dressed. And then we pick out an outfit for Megan. When she gets older, I'll probably put her outfits in little bins, but for now, she just um, has a small collection of what she's wearing because she grows so fast. She's constantly growing and changing sizes, so for right now, it makes sense to put him in her uh, little dresser. And here's okay. Cooper, after he's dressed, making his bed. Chores all done. Chores all done. Chores, 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 chores all done. Yeah! Um, what you didn't see was uh, we brushed teeth with him while um, one of us was getting Megan dressed, and he also read his Bible story. This is a little song we wrote as a family just to celebrate that his chores are all done. Okay, put it on your chore chart. Do you know where to put it next? Good job. What are you earning? Um, I got was training. I usually set out my outfit um, the, for the day, bef the night before, um, so that in the morning I don't even have to think about what I'm wearing. And we're off to school. All right, friends, that's my morning during the work year routine for getting up, getting the kids ready, and getting out the door. A couple of things you guys didn't see in my routine that's just built in is that every um, Sunday night I have the kids' preschool or like childcare bag ready to go and I actually just take it to the car and I put it in the car because in the morning there's so many things I'm trying to get to the car and then I take it in on, on like a Monday morning and then on a Friday when I go pick up the kids at the very end of the week I take you know all of Cooper's bedding from his nap time and um, bring all of that home, wash it, get it clean, put it back in the bag for the following week. And then for Megan, I just do a lot of laundry as needed for from preschool. Another big part of my routine in the mornings is that I do wake up a little bit earlier than the rest of my family. And to be honest, a lot of mornings, Cooper does not enjoy waking up and being rushed. He, he wants to do everything slow and he even tells me to drive slow, to um, get him dressed slow. He wants to brush his teeth slow. He just really enjoys slowly starting his day. Um, he doesn't always have that extra time to do that, you know? It's, some mornings he can if he wakes up early enough and some mornings he can't if he just doesn't want to get out of bed or if it's a struggle to get him out of bed. Then he hates even more having being rushed to get ready. And that's just part of life. So I try to structure as much as I can. So he always knows what to expect. He always knows the order of his chores. 
we, I don't have to tell him what his chores are now. Initially I did. Um, initially I had to like, I think you guys saw in our routines, I showed a picture of each of his morning chores and he'd get a star for all of those things or, or like at least we'd look at all the pictures and now he just knows. In the morning I make my bed, I get dressed, I brush my teeth, I read my Bible. Bam, that's my morning. So now he really knows that and he doesn't need to be reminded. In fact, there's been a couple times I've forgotten something or done it out of our order and he's like, mom, we forgot to do this. You know, so he really thrives on routine. And I know that, that every kid does well on routines. Not every kid thinks about their routines for themselves. So I think he's just a really structured kind of kid. And he loves free play as well, but he really loves repetition and order. You know, I think a lot of, a lot of kids do. And he loves um, getting his stickers and earning. Last night, we did our whole evening routine and we tucked him into bed and we um, he came into our room. Mom! Oh no, I forgot my sticker. But don't worry, I put it on because we did do all my chores. Like, so cute. And then he won't give himself a sticker or ask for a sticker if he does hasn't done them all. So he is like really structured and he really thrives off of routine. Anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. That's our nighttime routine. We're talking about morning right now. But I guess my only point is doing it every day has made it go so much smoother and so much easier. So I don't have to like, it's not like pulling teeth anymore. If you know what I mean. He pretty much can self-direct. Now he can't make his bed entirely by himself. We do it together. But I think that's part of why he likes his morning chores is he's totally a quality time kind of kid. And he loves doing it together. And he even makes a big point of it. Mom, it's time to make my bed now. Let's do it together. And honestly, usually my husband does most of the morning chores with him. Um, but he did, but Cooper just loves doing all of it together because it, it, it's special for him and he gets recognition. So we make the bed together, you know, we help him get his toothpaste on his toothbrush, but he, you know, brushes his teeth and we're watching and he, we usually like count to 30 with him. But so we're doing like that together. Um, we help him get dressed, but he picks out his clothes. So you guys saw the bins. I put full outfits in each of those bins. And he just opens a bin and he looks in there and sometimes he's like, oh, I don't want to wear that today. And he finds another bin until he finds what he wants to wear. So every bin has a top and a bottom. And then he goes to his other drawer in the changing table dresser that has like his socks and underwear and he gets to pick out those. And he loves the freedom of choice. And sometimes he'll like, you know, pick a pair of underwear and he'll go, mm, actually, no, I want to wear my dinosaur ones today or whatever, you know, so like put it back and switch. He just loves having the freedom of choice within the, the very clear parameters of you need a shirt and a pants and socks and underwear. And he loves kind of the routine of like getting to choose and pick out what he wants. So I think it's adorable and it really does help our mornings go smoothly. Of course, this morning we had tantrums, but um, we're working on sharing toys <laughs> and that's a totally another video and a totally another subject. So um, that's kind of um, a look into my morning routines and how we have stuff ready for daycare. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys feel inspired and I hope you guys just remember to give yourself some grace. Not every morning is smooth. <laughs> oh my gosh, only parts of my morning were smooth today and I didn't film the tantrums because you know, I didn't feel like that was necessary. Um, but we did get up, um, into the car and we made it where we needed to go on time. So that's just life. And when you're dealing with, you know, I've got a three-year-old and a one-year-old, that kind of stuff just happens. And that really is real life. I think it's really easy to, as moms, compare ourselves to other moms and think that, um, you know, what we see in public or what we see when we're in their homes is, um, you know, an entire glimpse of their entire, you know, family life of like perfect behavior and perfectly behaved kids. And that's just not the case for like any family I've ever known. You know, there's, there's, you know, good points and down points and awesome moments where our kids are like being self-directed and self-motivated and, um, you know, working on things independently. And then they're, you know, in two seconds later, they can be needing help to work through hurt feelings or frustrations or, you know, maybe, maybe needing to correct their attitude a little bit. And that I think is a more realistic glimpse of real life. So 
if you enjoy watching, you know, mommy morning routine videos, I just really encourage you because I love doing that too. Just keep in mind, we're only seeing a glimpse of people's life, just a tiny little snapshot. And not very many people are going to film their toddler having a tantrum and put it out there for the world to see. I mean, I haven't seen any morning routine videos like that yet. And I certainly didn't do that, you know, with my son today. I didn't want to embarrass him. And, you know, I could tell you guys about it later. We had a tantrum and then we worked through it and now we're fine. But I just want you guys to really get a, a realistic snapshot of mornings. There's great points, there's low points. Some mornings are smooth and fl and awesome. And we're singing the whole morning and it's just cheery and fun. Other mornings, the entire morning is a bit. And we work through it and we keep our patience and we're consistent and we have our routines and then we work through it. And that is real life. So as you're watching other people, give yourself grace. Do not compare. Everyone's day is different. Everyone's children are working on becoming amazing little humans at their own little pace you know we're all of different areas that we're working with our children and their growth so no comparing just um, enjoying each other in the process and encouraging each other so if you're a mom and you've got to get out the door and get to any kind of um, work and you are responsible for getting kids ready and getting kids to any kind of child care facility or with relatives or whatever um, thumbs up for you you're doing it that's awesome. I hope this encouraged you. I hope you got a couple ideas of maybe some things that might help your family have a smoother morning. Um, and if you guys have any um, awesome tips that really works for your family, you know, of course, let me know down below. Okay, I'll see you guys next time.